your skin, Big Vanish. Okay, ladies and gents, I am going to be telling you guys what makes this Spanish oil so remarkable, and it's all in the way we manufacture this. I was awarded Forbes 30 under 30 for manufacturing because the way we manufacture and distribute at Banish is so revolutionary. So we only sell direct to consumer. We manufacture our products in Pasadena and then we ship them every single day, Monday through Saturday to our end customer, which means we don't store our finished goods in a smoky, dirty, sweaty, non-air conditioned warehouse. We don't store them for years at a time. We never have products on the shelf just sitting there. So it's kind of like produce. You know, you're gonna have spinach, you're gonna have your carrots. You don't want them sitting there for like years and years on end, right? And so for a lot of skincare companies, they just put the products on their shelves and they will leave them there for as long as possible until it sells. And this is why in a lot of skincare brands, they have this weird like sell by date code, but you never know what it is because you don't know when it expires because the companies don't want you to know when it expires. But for us, for Banish, because we make the product the same date it is shipped out, we sell directly to consumer, you will know that on your ship date is the exact date that the product was made. So in the morning, we have our team come in, they, make, they mix the products, they fill it, they bottle it, print out the labels and then they will pick and pack and ship it directly to you guys. So that is what makes Banish so revolutionary and so different than any other skincare brand out there. We do not sell on Amazon, we do not sell in stores, we do not sell at spa, salons, or Sephora, or Nordstrom, or whatever. We've gotten many, many offers, and a lot of large wholesale accounts have wanted to carry our products, but we've just decided that no, we'd rather just stick straight to the consumer, keep our products fresh, keep the integrity of the product ingredients, and get them directly to you once they are made. So, let me tell you a little bit about vitamin C. Vitamin C comes in many different forms, the most popular vitamin C's out there is azorbic acid and sodium phosphate. So azorbic acid is the gold standard because it is the most potent form of vitamin C and under clinical studies and trials, they have found that azorbic acid can absorb really well into the skin walls to promote collagen and elastin boosting properties. The other form is sodium phosphate, and people like sodium phosphate more sometimes than azorbic acid is because sodium phosphate is a lot more stable than azorbic acid. Azorbic acid, the downside is that it's not very stable, which means after being exposed to air, to light, and being stored for a long time, it's not gonna be as stable, which means that's not gonna be as effective in absorbing into the skin. Once the serums turn like a yellow or an orange, it means that the azorbic acid is not as stable and it doesn't absorb into the skin as well. When you have a clear vitamin C serum, you get the most stable, the most concentrated form of vitamin C. When you get a yellow vitamin C serum, it still works, but it's just not as effective because it doesn't really absorb into the skin cell walls as well. So what's interesting is if you go out and you purchase a vitamin C serum in the market, they're usually like a milky color or they're an orange color. Very, very few times are they actually a clear color. And this is because the distribution of these products. I got this at a medical spa, I got these at Sephora, and so for them to distribute these products, they make a huge batch, you know, 100,000, 200,000, a million units of these products, box them up and ship them all around the world, ship them to all the different Sephora's, ship them to all the distribution centers, and then once the stores run out, they will gradually replenish their stocks from their distributors. So because of that, because we don't really know when the products were made or we don't know how much stock each store needs because they don't know how many they're gonna sell, they usually color the serum orange so that way when the serum will turn orange, nobody will know the difference. So each batch you buy, each product you buy, you don't know how fresh the batch is because all of them are already colored orange, which I thought was just so cool and so incredible because I was like, why is it vitamin C is always orange? Because it's not actually orange. And at first I thought it was because oranges are orange, which is why vitamin C is orange, but that's actually the reason for that. So if you look at Banish's Banish oil, so this, is the exact same bottle I used in the Black Friday. That was in November. You can see it's a little bit yellow. It's not too bad. It just has this little yellow tint. But then this Banish oil, which is a fresh batch that was made a few days ago, you can see it's absolutely clear. So it might be easier if I put them side by side. 
So you can just see the color difference there. Okay, now this still good to go. You can still use it. Just know it might not be as effective as a fresh batch. That is also why our product for the Banish Oil and Vitamin C is 15 milliliters instead of 30 milliliters because we don't want to add things like fillers in our product. We could add more like vegetable glycerin, which doesn't really cost us much, and fill up the volume of the product and give you one ounce <laughs> like the other products do. But if it's gonna go bad and it's not as effective, then why should we pretend that we're selling more fluid ounces than just having a pure ingredient that works? I think people get so caught up in the ounces to dollars and blah, 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 and the volume. But really, the, the main thing that you need from this product is for it to work. So for me, it's always about trying to find something that works, not necessarily finding the most cheap and affordable solution because your skin, it's gonna be a big investment. You don't wanna fuck it up with using like bad ingredients, preservatives, fragrances, and all that. So that's the Banish Oil.